coming at you with another cool unboxing this is the six cents super six monthly box i think it's 28 or 26 dollars let's check it out first the cool thing is is they come in this sweet little bag so you can keep everything in there and you can put your reels after you're done first off is a curve 55 a divine hybrid jig half ounce a thud quake 80 a crush 50x some oval split rings these are freaking awesome for changing out baits that have round ones i don't not a big fan of round the next one is a crush 250 md and also a crush 100x square bill this is the november box they you can customize these boxes also if you fish deep or shallow depending on your water even i think they have pond fishing setups too but let's crack some of these open and see what's in them first up is the crush 250 md it's a medium deep diving style crank built crankbait it's in a chrome chartreuse shad i throw this on anywhere from 10 to 14 pound uh, fluoro or mono just depending on what I'm in the mood for and how the bass are fighting um, I like a 7 foot cranking setup for this it's a 5 8 ounce throw this anywhere from 6 to 20 foot if you got suspended fish this bait right here if they're suspending in anywhere from 10 to 14 foot should get smashed the color on it's really good it's I mean, you can't go wrong with throwing this bait. You're going to get smashed. Also, with your reel, you probably want to use a medium to lower uh, gear ratio just so you can grind those fish back whenever they bite. I mean, you're not, you're not going to be digging like you are for a, something in the 20 to 25 foot range, but you still need to be able to grind them, bring them out of... 12 or 14 foot they they can be pretty active down there so i like a six six to one or six eight to one next is a crush 100 x i don't know if the x means silent or not but this color is pretty dope it's a gizzard chad i think yep gizzard chad it it's got a little noise to it but it may just be the weight transfer it's probably silent I would throw the exact setup that I was throwing the Crush 250 MD. I might would throw a 610 uh, jerk baiter cranking rod just because it's you get a little more accuracy with it. But same reel, same line. Um, only time you would step up your line size is if you're throwing around a bunch of laydowns and timber and stuff like that. Then you want to step up your line size and throw anywhere from 12 to 17 pound test depending on how how uh, heavy duty or how afraid you, you're worried about your line getting up uh, getting frayed up so I got something in the woods right behind me I don't know what it is but again uh, this is another fish catching machine you're gonna get bit square bills you're gonna get smashed it's a shag color post spawn these will be phenomenal right now they'll be sorry about that right now would be a good time too because the bait is pretty small and fish are feeding up for the winter this last few bass that lay up shallow trying to get in the sun we have them pretty much all year long but a lot i know a lot of places don't it's got some lavender on top this, this color's sweet yeah be, be ready to get bit on this Next is a Crush 50X. Um, I can't tell if they're shall, uh, silent or if they have a rattle, but it's uh, very fine if they do. It may just be the weight transfer again. This is a chrome uh, threadfin shed, chartreuse threadfin shed. Pretty close to the 100X, just a tad smaller. So this. For me right now, this Crush 50X is what I would be throwing. These, all these baits come with super sticky hooks too. I don't know if 
if everyone knows that or not, but these hooks are phenomenal. You don't have to change these. They're perfect right out of the package, ready to go. I'm throwing this on the same setup as I would the Crush 100X, a 610 jerkbait shallow uh, square bill rod, and it's my top water walking bait rod too, but I have a 13 fishing concept Z, and I use anywhere from 12 to 15 pound test on the smaller one, but you're, you're going to get smashed throwing these, I, I can't harp on that enough square bills get bit even in the toughest bites you just lock up and hit one on the forehead they're gonna react and hit it so good bait perfect time of the year for me to throw them it's like 65 in georgia right now the low was 40. i don't know where i left off but i would throw this with my confish uh my concept z because it's a little lighter it throws smaller crankbaits like a charm and then a throw at a mile i love it but i would throw it on my 610 top water jerking square bill rod and you're, you're gonna get some bites that's for sure next up is the curve 55 and a ghost brown crawl it's almost like a peanut butter and jelly it's got some purple and brown this is perfect for clear water reservoirs that i fish i I love this little bait. Um, it is 3 8 ounce, dives 5 to 9 foot. Again, I'm throwing this on the exact same setup that I'm throwing everything else on. Same bait, same everything. Or same line, same rod, same reel, everything, the whole nine. This is going to get smashed without a doubt. Next up is the Thud Quake 80, or the Quake Thud 80. This is in a red proof. It's got red and gold and almost a little pink belly. It's got some loud rattles. These are good for cold water, that transition period. I mean, fish will chase this. And whenever you get muddy water, these are good too because all the noise helps fish locate them. They stand out. I like the color. I love red in the cooler times of the year. I know a lot of people like it in summer. Well. I kind of like it all year long. This is a little heavier, it's three quarters ounce, so I'm throwing this on a medium heavy rod that's got a lot more parabolic action. That way it gives whenever the fish do hit because of the treble baits. And a lot of times I'm gonna throw this on braid if I'm fishing around grass. That way I can pop it up, pop it out of the braid, get more, or pop it out of the grass and get more of a reaction strike. I love, lipless baits you, I mean all year long you see monsters getting caught on these babies all year long so if you don't believe in them just watch YouTube change your mind next is the divine hybrid jig this head is made to swim or flip or pitch or punch or do anything it's pretty a pretty universal uh, jig it's got a really long weed guard so you want to trim that down a little bit maybe split it some fluff it out this is a half ounce i'm throwing this on a heavy 7.3 heavy probably with 50 pound to 65 pound braid just depending on the thickness and the muckiness of everything um sorry my son loves to play with his trucks right on top of me whenever i start doing these he thinks he's a already a pro fisherman and he's only three so look out to her here he comes but again this is good for clear natural color water be ready to get bit throw a little trailer on the back of this either a swim jig or a paddle tail lure or a crawl bait you got a really good chance of getting bit you can also throw this as deep as you want it you just got to give it time to get down there if you're fishing deeper I would say throw 20, seven, 15 to 20 pound fluoro. It'll let you get down there. You fish this as deep as you want to. The profile's good. It's not too big, not too bulky. And put a nice size crawl trailer on the back and you can get bit up to 40 foot of water. I mean, it's perfect. You can't go wrong with these. And last up was the 
six cent oval split rings. I hate round split rings. I don't know why, I can't stand them, but I hate how the line always goes to the weakest point of it. So I will be changing out anything to this. I can assure you that, again, this is the six cents box for November. They're gonna have some good stuff coming out. Um, the first box, you got a koozie. I don't know if they're gonna send us other swag and release some of their um, newer stuff in these boxes or let them hit the stores first, but this is, they got some great gear. Each of those baits are either nine or eight dollars. I think the jig is the only thing that's five, but it's worth it. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving, tight lines. Hope you get to get on the water or in the woods. Happy holidays.